Hello. Winston. How you doing? Danny, pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How you doing, buddy? Come on in. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so how did you get into World of Warcraft yourself? Did you play much games um, before? I played uh, Final Fantasy XI. That was my first MMO mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 2, I believe it was. And then um, I always heard about WoW. You always hear about WoW. And I played it like the first time and I played Alliance and I hated it. I was like, oh, what's going on? And like somebody called me a noob and I didn't even know what a noob was. <laughs> and I was just very, very frustrated. And then um, my boyfriend has some real life friends who, pl who played WoW. Mm -hmm. And my, me and my boyfriend have been together for 14 years, so um, he had some real life friends who played WoW, and he said, do you want to play with us? And I picked it up, and I made like an undead warrior, and I've never looked back. Yeah. So I've heard a lot about Taint over the past couple of months. Taint is the division of um, RTGC, which is the Rough Trade uh, Gaming Community, which is actually a bunch of LGBT people who um, created a network of uh, player bases in different games. So Taint is the subset that's in WoW. So oh, they're wow. the WoW presence. So you'll have a difference. We, we have like Final Fantasy XIV, so you have a different presence over there. We'll have Star Wars, you have a different presence over there. And we are the largest um, uh, gay gaming guild out there. I think Taint is, has over 2,000 members wow. currently in, in WoW on Proudmoor. I think having a safe haven to go into because when you walk into a place and you see trade chat or you see conversations, they're not exactly the most mature conversations and words are thrown around and, you know, they might not have no meaning to the person on this end, but, you know, to us they, they mean a lot. So to be able to band together and feel comfortable and, and talk how we want to talk and you know, see somebody cute and say that they're cute, it, it really brings us together and I think, you know, WOW, with having such a huge player base, really brought a lot of people who don't have the opportunity to even get together with gay people and to uh, socialize with them in-game, and that's pretty powerful. One of the things that we do do, um, we're on the Proudmoor server, is we do throw a virtual pride. And it's the <laughs> largest virtual pride in any video game. We, everybody dresses in costumes, a huge coordination effort. We have a parade, we have floats, we have, we have um, float committees, we have contests for the best floats. So you're actually attending a pride in game that you would normally attend, you know, in, in a city. So what's great about that is some people don't even get to go to pride in their city and they can come and experience pride in game. And I think that, that's amazing to me. Are you going to keep playing World of Warcraft? Absolutely. I took Thursday and Friday off next week. <laughs> so, I, I definitely am. I think World of Warcraft will always be a part of my life in some way, shape, or form. Just of the friendships that I've made. Um, even if it does go away, I think it will hold a very special place in my heart. Um, and it's part of my gaming identity. So, definitely. I definitely will be playing World of Warcraft. <laughs>